Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Seafarer's Throw, which you can see here in front of you in the photo. There's also many more photos on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. And I have a corner of my sample blanket here for you to see as well. This is a super cozy blanket. It's made in a bulky weight yarn. That's the number five on the label. Here I show it in the Hue Plus Me by Two of Wands and Lion Brand yarn. And uh, again, it's a bulky weight, 80% acrylic, 20% wool yarn. Each of these balls of yarn has approximately 137 yards. And you are going to need a total of 18 balls of yarn. I am working in three different colors. I'm using the colors salt, smoke, and marine. And you're going to need six balls of each color. The blanket has worked using a nesting shell stitch followed by a simple solid edging to the blanket. Once you get the hang of the nesting shell stitch, it's fairly easy and straightforward to work. You're also going to need an eight millimeter crochet hook. The finished blanket measures approximately 55 by 55 inches and I'll give you instructions on making it larger uh, later on in the video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe there are many other crochet blanket patterns here on my channel, uh, as well as other patterns for you in your home and free crochet stitch tutorials. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's uh, grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Our Seafarer's Throw today is worked in rows. And uh, I mentioned that the finished blanket is about 55 by 55 inches today. In the video, I'm just going to work a swatch of it just so you can see how the stitch works and a little bit of how to do the edging. So I'm not going to work the whole thing. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then to make the full blanket, you're going to chain 102 chains. If you would like to change the size of your blanket, as I am going to do here, you're going to need a multiple of four stitches plus two for the foundation chain. So today I'm going to only chain 22 chains. So to work the full blanket, once you have worked 102 chains, you're then going to work a half double crochet into the second chain from your hook and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across and we are working this row in color A which today I'm showing you in the salt color. So half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Once you have half double crocheted in each stitch across, you'll have 101 stitches if working the full design. You're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a single crochet into your first stitch, skip the next stitch, and work three double crochets into your next. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches into the next stitch, skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way across, end with a single crochet into your final stitch. And in that final stitch, you're also going to switch to your color B. And I will show you how to do that as I come across. So 
So when you come across, you have two stitches remaining. You're going to single crochet into that final stitch, but switch to your color B. So you're going to insert your hook into the final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, then drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You're then going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch in your color B and turn your work. For row three, continue working in your color B. You're going to work one double crochet into that first stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet two together working under the first stitch, so under the single crochet, two rows below. You're going to skip the shell and complete the stitch under the second single crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook under that first single crochet into the top of the stitch two rows below. Yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Skip the shell, yarn over, insert your hook under the next single crochet stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You have three loops remaining on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's your double crochet two stitches together. You're then going to work three double crochet stitches into the top of this next single crochet. So into the single crochet that you just worked under, work three double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across double crochet two together, working under the first single crochet, so the single crochet you just worked in, skipping the shell, and then under the next single crochet, and then work three double crochet stitches into that next single crochet stitch. Repeat all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, you're going to switch to your color C. And I'll show you how to do that as I come across. When you come to your final stitch, you're going to work your final double crochet, or final set of stitches I should say, your final double crochet two together, and you're working under this final single crochet stitch. And then you're going to finish off with two double crochet stitches into your final stitch. Switch to your color C in the top of the second double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, then pick up your color C, place it on your hook and pull through. Using your color C, chain one, and turn your work. Now as I am working a couple notes, I am leaving my yarn attached on the side. Because of the edge, I'm going to work around it afterward. I can hide these threads coming up uh, as I go when I work the edging. If you would like, you are welcome to trim these edges off after each row and weave in your ends. It's up to you. 
For row four, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of that first double crochet stitch, working in your color C. You're then going to work a double crochet into the middle double crochet of the shell two rows below. So two rows below you have a shell, which is a set of three double crochet stitches, into this middle double crochet. So reach over top of the next row, into the top of the middle double crochet, just work one double crochet. You're then going to work three double crochet stitches under the double crochet two together. So into the space under this stitch. This is a double crochet two together here. You're going to just insert your hook under that double crochet two together into the space and work three double crochet stitches. You're now going to work a double crochet two together, working the first part of the stitch into the middle double crochet of that shell two rows below. Skip the next shell and work the rest of your double crochet two together in the middle double crochet of that shell, next shell two rows below. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Work three double crochet stitches into the space under the next double crochet two together. And work a double crochet two together in the middle double crochet of the uh, shell two rows below and into the next shell. And repeat that all the way across. At the end of row four, you're going to finish off by working a double crochet into the middle double crochet of that shell two rows below. And then with a single crochet into the top of your starting chain three. In this single crochet, you're going to switch back to your color A, which is left down here and you can just gently pull it up along the side and pull through. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. Now for row five, we're going to work in our color A and you're going to begin by working a double crochet into the first stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet two together, working under this first single crochet and I'm just working in the space between these first two stitches. So under that first stitch and finishing it off into the top of the middle double crochet of the next shell two rows below and finish the stitch. You're then going to work three double crochet stitches under in the space uh, under the next double crochet two together and then double crochet two together working in the top of the middle double crochet of the shell directly below and skipping the next shell and working into the next middle double crochet of the next shell. You're going to repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row five, you're going to work two final double crochet stitches into that final stitch, switching to your color B in the top of that final double crochet and your color B is just hanging down by the side. You're going to place it on your hook and pull through. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat rows four and rows five until your work from the beginning 
measures approximately 52 inches. You can, uh, as you're working, you're going to alternate between your colors A, B, and C, switching colors at the end of each row. So go ahead, repeat rows four and five until your work from the beginning measures approximately 52 inches and then meet me back here and we will work the edging together. Once you have worked a total of 52 inches for your blanket, you're then going to fasten off and you're ready to work in edging around your blanket. So for your edging, you're going to begin by just joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and then chain one. For round one of your edging, and I'm, I've started with color B, it's up to you which color you'd like to start with. For the round one, you're going to begin by working a half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across the top of your blanket. When you come across to your corner stitch, you're going to work three half double crochet stitches into your corner. And that's going to bring you along around to the rough side of your blanket. You're then going to work evenly, as evenly as you can, 106 half double crochet stitches all along this edge. So you're just inserting your hook where it feels comfortable. As you are working, you want to make sure that you are working over top of these uh, little strands that you've pulled up along the side of your blanket. So make sure that you're tucking those in and just working over top of them as you go. So you're going to work 100 and six half double crochets all the way down. When you come to your next corner, work three half double crochet stitches into that next corner. You're then going to work along the bottom and then 106 up the side. If you need to, you can change the number along here. Just make note of it so that you can work the same on the other side. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. When you come all the way around, you can join with a slip stitch with a, with, in your first stitch. If you'd like, you can join your color C in the final stitch and then join with your slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. We're then going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way around, working three single crochets into each corner stitch. So this is my first single, uh, first corner stitch. I'm going to work three single crochets into the corner stitch, and then work a single crochet in each stitch across, and then three in my next corner and so forth. When you come back around to your first stitch, join a switch back to your color B in that first stitch and then uh, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Once you've come all the way around round two of your edging, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and uh, rejoin your color B. You're then going to, for your final round, work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around, working one or three half double crochet stitches into your corner stitch. So one half double crochet in each stitch around until you come to your corners 
work three half double crochets into each corner stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off, and weave in any ends. And that's all there is to working your seafarer's throw. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, check out some of the other crochet blanket patterns here, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.